Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at parsing data using regex. When you're building web scrapers, regex is going to become your go to tool for extracting various data. Let's go through the following example. First, we're going to go to the wiki fighters file, I'm going to drop down the terminal and we will take a look at the height that we're parsing here in imperial and metric formats. Currently, what we're doing is we're relying on the string positioning. We are aware that there is some kind of pattern. However, what we're doing is we're just saying, okay, there is a brace here. Let's split it there. We'll take the left part, the right part, and then trim these as well. How about if we had some kind of string, we could say this part over here is the imperial format. And this part over there is the metric format and then be able to extract those two formats. That is what regex essentially allows you to achieve. If you want to pause the video here and go to the description, I have a link to a video where I explain regex. It's essentially a beginner tutorial. Please be warned, a regex is a hard thing to grasp at the beginning, but the more you use it, you just remember it and it becomes second nature, kind of like riding a bicycle. Although this bicycle is uh, quite, quite hard to get around. What you want to do is open up your favorite fighter. For me, it's going to be not my actually fight, a favorite fighter, but whatever. We're going to be taking a look at height here. We're going to copy this. And what I want you to look for is regex101.com. You will find a website that looks something like this. And at the top is the place where you're going to be typing out your regular expression. At the bottom, we're going to put this string. We're going to get rid of this space at the beginning. I'm not sure what that is. And now we want to define some kind of pattern for this string over here. We can be very specific and say that, look, we're using for five foot, 10 inch, and then space 178 CM and close brace. Do note that we're not matching and remember that we had Unicode characters in here. However, if I cut this first bit, when we're matching, we're going to see something like this, the letter five being highlighted, or if I put FT, this is going to get highlighted. If I place a space, we can see where spaces are. However, let's come back to five space FT and I had two spaces over here. If I remove this last bit, we match the first bit. The reason this is not matching is because the braces are regex specific things. So what we have to do is actually just escape them using the backslash. And there we go. Here we're being very, very specific. How about now we say we want to capture this thing in between the braces. For this, we have to define a group and that is actually the braces themselves. Look how we're outlining it. When we're capturing this, we actually don't want the actual braces. So let's take our braces and bring them in just like that. So the escaped braces are on the outside. We can then name this group. And by the way, anytime you have questions, I know this is again, a very intimidating thing if you're a beginner, but all of the things are described over here in the quick reference section. You can take a look at all of the tokens, what they mean. You can take a look at common tokens and everything else. Specifically, what we're after is group constructs. And here, if you scroll through this, you want to name capturing group where you can basically specify the name for what you're capturing over here. Let's follow the pattern question mark angle bracket name close angle bracket. We'll put question mark to angle brackets. And this will be metric. On the other side over here, let's place a brace and another brace after in and we will name this group question mark imperial empiric I don't know, when I say imperial, it seems like imperial forces, like I'm about to start a crusade or something. But hopefully you can see here, we're capturing the first group and then we're capturing the second group. What if we go down and we find somebody like Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor. We'll go to Justin Gaethje. We'll grab his height. We'll place it down here. We are not matching it because Justin Gaethje is slightly higher than Khabib and it's also using meters. So 1.8 meters. There's a little bit of a difference here in our pattern that we're building up here. We want to be a little bit more generic. We want to give a little bit more leeway here. What I'm going to say first is that, look, we can be some kind of number FT and some kind of number IN. All right. 
if I go to the top, we'll look for all tokens and maybe actually common tokens will be a little bit better and we'll find any digit. Backslash D is to represent any digit. We'll start with backslash D over here. Look that we're still matching the first occurrence here and then we'll replace 10 with backslash D as well. We've, we've stopped matching it because this is string matching. The computer regex does not understand that any of this is a number or a letter. It doesn't know. What we're saying here is that in this specific space over here, we're expecting a digit. When there is two letters or three letters, if it's a hundred, it takes up three letters. That means we would have to put two digits over here and then we're still matching the first one. If we then want three digits, we can put it like this and suddenly this may become verbose. What if we're looking for like a hundred digits or something like that? This may contain nine, so it may be single digit or double digit. So this solution isn't perfect. This is why regex has something along the lines of curly braces after some kind of letter where you're saying, I want this to occur one or two times. And there we have it. If I take the second part and cut it out, I will see that both of the first parts are matching. Let's bring in the second part back and we will handle the 178 centimeters. I'll drag this over to the side or centimeters. I will say that C is sometimes optional because we can get centimeters or we can get meters as it is in this case or 178. I can see that there is a dot. So what I will want is a collection. We can either get digits or a dot and this will have to occur one or more times matching both of these occurrences. Let's go to Dustin Poirier. We will grab his height over here, place it down here and remove this tab. Look that we're matching it as well, even though it's in different format. We'll go to Conor McGregor. We'll grab his height as well, place it over here and we're matching it as well. I'm pretty confident that we're doing a good job here. Let's transfer this over to the Python world. We'll take this expression, we'll copy it. We'll come back to VS Code and we'll enter Python. I'll make the terminal a little bit bigger. Let's import RE, RE for regex. Well, RE, search. First, you put the expression. So we paste our expression over here, comma, and then we specify the value that we want to search. Let's copy one of the heights. We'll come back, open up quotes, and paste in the height. We will then store this in some kind of result, A equals, and press enter. Here we get an exception that this question mark angle bracket, what we're defining here, is unrecognized. Sometimes programming languages, Python, C Sharp, anything else, will implement regex slightly differently. Let's go ahead and take a look. What does Python say about defining groups? We'll come back here. We'll Google for Python, regex, open up this documentation and control F for group. And we have a little reference over here. However, I'm looking for something a little bit more descriptive. This looks better. Let's keep scrolling. I feel like we're pretty close. And here we have it, question mark P name. So this is how you would define groups. Let's come back to our application. I'll press the home key to jump to the back. I'll place a P over here. I'll place a P behind the second question mark over here. Let's run. And there we have it. Let's print A. And now we can fetch these individual groups. If we go A, group and then specify the key that we've placed in the question mark over here. We'll say empiric. We'll grab the individual thing that we've defined. If we then say metric, we grab the metric height specifically. Let's bring this into the code. We will grab this new expression that we have edited over here up to the expression, not the actual string. Drop down the terminal, jump to the top. We are going to import RE jump back to the bottom here where we're grabbing the height, put in RE, search our regular expression. And I have one too many single quotes, delete one on the end, and then I will pass in the value right there. I will then use match on the end here. And instead of defining all of these parts, let's remove this. I'll use the group accessor instead, so metric group, and then the key empiric 
or Imperic, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. We will see if the Unicode characters are still a problem over here. We'll take metric, place it over here, comma, comma, and then I'll put hashtags over here to comment this bit out. I will now need to run a recollection. There is my command before I actually execute it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to create a readme because I am tired of typing these out. And this is what I'll place in here. Just the command that I'm running. Let's press enter. And looks like we have actually failed some kind of parsing. Let's take a look at what is happening. We'll come back to Wikifighters. We'll say if match is none. Let's continue. What this is going to do is it's just going to pop us back to the loop over here. So we're saying we're failing the height parsing. Just go to the next place. And before we actually do this, let's print and we'll say failed height match and we'll place the actual value that we're trying to extract the data from. Just like that. Let's rerun the application. We're getting a bunch of results. Let's grab one and put it into our regex matcher over here. Looks like that should be working and that looks like Justin Gaethje's height. Let's see what is going wrong. And I'm going to put my money on that there should be a Unicode character over here, which we are not matching. Let's come back around here. We'll go to the top. We're going to right click on the height, inspect. Here we will be able to get the actual height. Let's copy the value from here, come back to regex and place it at the bottom here. Looks like I have a hard time copying over the value. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to copy the element, all of it, and paste it over here. Now the deal with the Unicode characters is that it's still going to show up as some kind of random character, a single one. What I'm going to say is that, look, in between the digit and FT, since I don't know exactly what kind of Unicode character I may encounter, I'm just going to say this should be any character. So backslash W, you can find this flag over here, actually any word character right over there. Let's use the same for this space over here before the IN. And I will actually take this back to the application and test this here straight away. And even further, because there could either be a space or, the, or a character, I'm just going to say, look, in between the backslash D and the FT, I don't care what kind of character there is. Anything can be there as long as there is something in between them. That is dot. Dot is anything, which is any single type of character. OK, and this should cover the Unicode character as well. We'll place the same thing before IN and before the centimeter or meter. Let's rerun our application. And this time looks like everything has worked. Let's take a look at the output format at the top over here and looks like we will still need the replace. However, we are a lot more precise in extracting the exact data that we want. We'll come back to wiki fighters, remove the comment and make sure that we place the replace on the thing that we're replacing like that. Rerun the application. Take a look at the output and just verify that we're still collecting with the spaces. Perfect. Now let's take a look at another example. We'll come back. Back to Khabib, let's take his weight, place it over here in the regex matcher. We have what I can only assume empiric, and then we have the metric, and then English? I'm not sure. Anyway, we have three formats. Let's go after all three of these formats. If we come back over here, we just want to make sure that do we have these Unicode characters? Looks like we do, and we have them right before the actual unit. Perfect. Let's go ahead, grab a couple of more weights just so we have more data to work with. We'll go to Dustin as well. Grab his. We'll go to Connor. Grab his. Remove this one over here. And there we go. We're starting with a digit that could be at least one or three characters long. I'll also erase the uh, rest of this matching just to, ma to make sure that we're working from the beginning to end. I'll then close off this group. So at the moment, we're capturing this, 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 and this. We shouldn't be capturing all of it. Remember, before LB, there is a Unicode character. So we're going to count for it with the dot. 
we then have a space we then have braces which don't really matter and for now to match everything i'm just gonna say look in between here there can be any characters then again i have their weight in kgs so back uh, backslash d from one to two or maybe three i don't know maybe khabib is gonna have uh, too much burgers and uh, he's gonna be overweight all right again dot for the unicode character ag and then semicolon this bit right here let's put it into braces is the metric system metric and then after the semicolon over here we are going to have stones and lb i'm guessing this is an english system let's place a space name this eng for english well, we'll have a digit that goes from one to two let's hope nobody is like a hundred stones or something like that dot for unicode character and then st and look at this dot one let's place square braces over here square braces basically saying in this character slot there can be a digit or a dot and then this occurrence can occur one or two times we can simplify these braces over here by just saying look one or more so we'll just put a plus over here after st space and then again let's say digit one or more i don't know how pounds go up but dot lb since most most of the strings actually end there shouldn't be one or more other characters we remove this bit and there we have it now we can zoom in on any of these over here the lbs are optional and for this you can also use groups let's wrap this in a non-capturing group so we're gonna circle around one lb and we're gonna say look this thing right here question mark colon do not capture it this is just to signify that this is something and then behind this group that, that is capturing lb we're gonna say that it's optional so we place a question mark over here and there we have it we capture the empiric we capture the metric and we capture the english group let's take our expression we'll come back to our code we'll go to wiki fighters we're going to first place quotes over here and put our expression in there and let it hang in there we will copy the height place it over here and we'll say if key starts with weight we want to take our expression place it over here make sure that we append the p's remember that python has this uh, quirk and there we have it so on the end over here we are still inputting the value as the second parameter to the search function if there is no match we failed weight match and print out the value and then skip and then for the fighter info let's add this new key scrolling a little bit to the top here alongside the height i'll place weight come back down and here we have three types of weights we have imperial metric or empiric i'm really not sure which way to spell it i don't really care this is only an example right we can get empiric metric or the english system make sure that we assign it to the correct key of weight let's rerun our application and there we have it coming back to output.json uh, let's run this and uh, we will see that for justin gaichi we get his weight we get his height and we're really defining pinpoint positions for where these individual elements are located and because we don't get any error outputs that means that all of the examples that we're going through of passing parsing the height parsing the weight are successful if you ever get any outputs well you know it's going wrong but this will be it for this video thank you very much for watching hopefully it hasn't been too intimidating regex is one of those things that if you're trying it once or twice it is really hard to get into however if you keep using it you will learn it and you will come to love it it's a really good tool in your toolkit and if you have any questions or want to say thank you make sure to leave it in the comment section don't forget to leave a like subscribe very big thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me your help is very much appreciated thank you for watching this video and have a good day